what's your name? Oh, Jemina, hello, darling. I'm so excited because we are dressing by the rainbow to help to project good emotional feelings. So we're dressing by chakras. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> it just, chakras are something I've done with Victoria um, Woodall with yoga, and it's really helped me to see how colors can affect our mood. And we had Crayola dressing last year, the year before as a kind of trend, but colors represent things. So I've been trying it myself. And when I talk and feel what this mantra is around the color, and I wear the color, I'm feeling it. Like today, I've just come back from the office to film this, and there was one about love and trust. And I just put this color on, and I just thought, okay, I'm gonna really feel around me, love and trust. Oh, wow, this it is really like my day. emotional dressing. It is totally emotional dressing. So either you've got no feelings, you wanna generate good, positive vibes, or you already feel good and you want to you know, you want to amplify it. Oh, okay. All right, the first chakra I'm going to start with is the root chakra, which is about being calm, safe, and grounded. So whenever you think, I really want to be calm, safe, and grounded, wear red, all right? Surround yourself with red. So I'm doing that now, and as you know, I've stolen off you your coat, but <laughs> I've got this red dress, and when I wear red in the winter, I don't love to wear it with black. So the first thing I have to do is think, what makeup do I want? And it's that big deliberation. Do I do a red lip with it or a neutral? I just love a red lip now with a red dress. So I'm using Swainy Lip Lux. And then I'll take the last little bit and I'll just do quite high up. Like I'm a little doll. Um, a blush with Swainy as well, just to get the same colour there. So I'm really channeling all the red I can channel and then perhaps a little bit of mascara. I'm getting there and I'm starting off with some off-white boots because I don't love to wear black with this. And then Jemima, I'm going to take your coat, <laughs> which you kindly lent me because I think mine's in storage. We do and have the same have coat. coat. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God, you have this coat. It's slightly cooler red from the tomato red. You suit a cooler red and I suit a warmer red, but basically here we're channeling red. And then the sleeves are a bit short, so brace at sleeve time. Do we have a little bracelet? Yes, we do. I think when I wear, funny, when I wear red in winter, I wear it with gold. And when I wear it in summer, I wear it with silver. It's winter, I'm wearing it with gold. Why is that, Trini? I don't know. Why do you think it is, Molly? Because <laughs> gold is warm. Gold is warm and we're cold. And, yeah. Would I then do a gold belt? Would we do a little Ooh. bit? We could do a little bit of gold. Would we just think that is too much or quite nice? Quite nice. Quite nice. Yeah, yeah, I think just like color. add something because you know when you've had a dress for a long time, you just feel you want a new way to wear it. And I wore it before with jumpers. I wore it lots of different ways, but I just want to change out the way I'm wearing it. So taking this belt there like that. I think that's it. I might do a gold bag. I was going to do a white bag, but I might do a gold bag. And I might actually, I think, I'm going to pussycat myself. I'm feeling that I should pussycat myself. Yeah, do like it. That. I'm going to do that. Oh, fab. Oh. I love how you can see the tights and the boots cut out. Yeah, but the tights are key here because you want to elongate and continue your leg. And when you're wearing a colour like this, and sometimes you wore it in the summer, these are tabio tights, really good. Just gives you the flow and also I'm feeling the red you know there's nowhere I look where I don't see red do you feel safe and grounded I feel <sighs> ready for the next one okay we're well, on to orange now I've got here essential Antwerp I just got these because I did have some Victoria Beckham ones I always used to wear for closet confessions and they just don't work anymore so I'm into these which work well in fact I'm all essential Antwerp the whole thing but I'm just going to channel endless amounts of orange. I don't have an orange coat. So when you're thinking of what color you're gonna wear, but how you're gonna get there, it's my opportunity to wear a pink coat with this. Ooh. So I'm just, and the reason I'm thinking that is I love orange and pink together. And seeing these colors, if I'm walking around all day, I'm in orange and I would even take it to the extent so I'll have an orange bag with me. Yeah. Like that. And then I think I might just put a pink coat on top of the orange. You see, I haven't worn it yet, <coughs> like that. There. Nice. So I'm pecorange, pecorange, pecorange. I feel too pink. Don't okay, you think? take the pink. coat off. I don't have an orange coat though. 
I did have an orange coat. Do you remember? Y yeah. I had that orange coat. Yeah. I'm thinking, why did I get rid of it? Because I'd had it for 15 years and it would have been brilliant for now. This is your sacral chakra, which is more sort of your stomach. It's all about your emotional state and your creativity. So creativity is coming from here. So you're wearing orange, you'll be more creative. So on a day you think, I really need to channel and bring in my creativity. Orange is your shade. I love this. It's like, what do I need to project today? Yeah, and I love the makeup with it. Makeup's good. That's so that shasha lip to cheek. I did a little munchkin lip to cheek on the outside, and then I just did some shasha on the cheeks. Perfect. So yellow, I actually wore yesterday, and it's the chakra of your solar plexus, your navel, so right where your tummy button is, and it's a chakra of confidence and self belief. So if you think I really want to find my confidence and self belief then wear yellow and i talk about yellow so much and it is the most powerful color that's why i made trini london yellow because it's about energy it's about self-belief so just think days you want to channel self-belief and confidence wear yellow because it's going to give you the energy to propel yourself forward into any situation any mm. any conversation and I feel like when I see someone in yellow, I'm like, wow, you look amazing. I know it is. It's a colour that when I walk down the street and I see people in yellow. So this is what I put on yesterday. And this is the makeup because yellow can be challenging for makeup. This is a really old Celine Top Essentials Antwerp trousers. And then I'm wearing a Tibby little jumper. There we go. And I think I'm going to be entirely in yellow. My makeup today was so unusual. I'm just sort of trying to just try different looks, but I love where it got to. And I'm wearing Yasmin Lip Lux. And then I'm wearing Desire and Queen on the eye. And then I put Maiko Sheer Shimmer on my lip and on my cheek. But it just is all these browns that I don't usually wear, but I'm just trying different things and loving it. Reminds me slightly of the 90s. So what I love when I created this look is just having really old friends, like the Essential Sandpart trousers are really old friends. God, they do so much great color, don't they? They know color. And then the kind of layering of the tank top over the jumper, which I'm adoring at the moment because it makes me feel ageless. My really old Prada coat, which we found a dupe of for a um, Closet Confessions. And then the makeup. It was great to channel more brown tones and then have that warmth on the eye with Queen which took that element of the orange and the fortitude and just brought the look together. This is a one because green is the heart chakra, source of love, inspiration, compassion. Now I thought the heart chakra would be red but it's not. Chakras don't always follow the logic that you think should prevail. So I had to really get my head around green Compassion, I can get green mm -hmm. as compassion maybe. Heart, don't get it, so. I like it for self-love. You know, like a garden yeah. growing and you feel like you're self-loving. Okay, I love that interpretation. Thank you. <laughs> Nature growing green, yeah, fresh that's... buds. Mm. All right, chance to reinvent yourself. Totally. All right, uh, compassion, all these things. Okay, I'm getting it. Now, makeup wise, because if we look here, I'm not great in this color green, but I feel this is the green they mean when we look at all the chakra boards. It's this kind of bright, vibrant green. So I look always to a pattern as well. I can look on, you know, my fearless book, but what I say in my fearless book too is look in a pattern. So I like the magenta, the dahlia. So I'm going to winterize this look. So I'm actually going to add this belt to help me with what I'll put on my lip. So I've just brought back that real deep fuchsia and it's Nisha Sheer Shimmer with a tiny bit of Freya lip glow. They're both exactly the same tone, but I wanted that real weight of lushness on my lip. And then I took the same for the blush and I put passion eye to eye on my eyes. That's such a fresh look. It does help though, too, because that's quite a, it's like mm. too cool a green for me. So I had to use a depth of a color, which I can wear and just bring it a bit warmer. Yeah. So the outfit is Essentials Antwerp again. This is like weird that I keep pulling because all the things that are bright colors in my wardrobe are actually Essentials Antwerp because I got rid of a lot of stuff. Belt is old Gucci from Mr. Village. The shoes are number 21, which I got online. They have no heel and yet I can walk around them like they are twin. Those it's the first time I wear a nice <laughs> heel. I feel good in it. And then the skirt is ASOS. Where's the ring from? The ring is leg and brain from Katie mm. Brain, but it is green. Next chakra. All right, are we ready? <laughs> We're ready. This is 
Mm. This is a blue chakra, all yes. right? So it's the chakra of self-expression and finding your voice, the throat. Mm. So you need to have a row with your partner, husband, girlfriend, whatever. Wear blue. You need to get a pay rise. Wear blue. You need to get yourself hurt. Wear blue. That's what I would say. And I'm just so blue now. I have bloody well realized I'm in an Essentials Antwerp coat and trousers. I'm sorry. And um, a Serena Butte. Oh, let's get in some other people there. Serena Butte and um, Cos shirt, uh, Cos bag. But with this blue, I feel it needs to be a strong blue. Yeah. It's, a pres it's like turquoise meets blue. It's powerful. And it's one of my favorite shades. So it's easy for me to find my voice <laughs> because I've got lots of color to inspire me. Yeah. And I think there's a difference between this and indigo, which is navy blue. So I'm really into it because I feel different. Like today I wore this with a bright blue suit for an H&M and I did makeup to do with it too, which we can look at to an alternative for the blue. So see something that's not just from a center to up now. So I'm thinking to continue the blue and because it's 10 degrees and nearly nine degrees, I'm gonna go for fluffy. So I've got on, I don't know where this is from, it's Lila's Cos Underlay shirt, H&M uh, uh, suit, and then my Sesame Street I'm going mad coat. But I am blue, and then I also, oh, forgot that I got this little number from Cos. So I'm gonna just channel everything. I, all I gotta do is find my wallet. Which also reflects as a, as a nice blue, doesn't it? Yeah. And the makeup for that, I mean, now I've just put on um, a sort of deeper outside lip. I think I did Munchkin lip to cheek and then I did some Myco in the middle and then my eyes I've just put on Chalice. And this morning I had on Chalice with another shade. But I'm, I feel strong in this. I feel louder in this than I do in navy. So let's go on to indigo and see what that's gonna say. Your eyes look super blue to really? me. Really? Yeah, it it's like, like blue, blue, blue. It's like blue, blue, blue. Indigo is here. It's about your third eye. It's about your subconscious knowledge. So it's about listening to your intuition. And I'd say not your instinct. Instinct to me is like, I, I describe this about a bit in the book, but instinct is like, step back. I instinctively feel more to me a negative. Mm -hmm. Intuition is what in your head you know. You meet somebody, you have a funny feeling about them for the first time, but you keep on going, keep on going, and they keep letting you down, keep letting you down. What was that intuition? It just told you something. Or you have an idea for something and you think, I really like to do it, and people on the outside might just give you all the reasons why you shouldn't, but you keep coming back to it. You wake up in the morning and you have that idea again. Your intuition, your second voice is saying to you, do it. Yeah. To me, it's a more positive thing. I've never thought of it that way and it's so true. Yeah, so then this colour for me, I like the fact this is a deeper blue because it's so weird how these colours are bringing me um, that sense of self. But when I'm sort of wanting to be taken seriously or I want to take myself seriously, it sounds odd, but I want to kind of maybe go through lots of notes I made in lots of meetings, really think and be thoughtful and perhaps be inwardly thinking as opposed to externally expressing, this is it. Mm. And yeah. I wear navy a lot for that. It gives you a lot of clarity, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I feel like because you wear that a lot, I do feel that about you. You do? Yeah. You, that I speak with clarity. Maybe. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. But especially Always. in Indigo. <laughs> so this is Serena Butte, really old. I, it's probably the first Serena Butte trouser I bought, and I've had them for about six, seven years. Mm -hmm. And then this is a cost jumper with that wonderful little thing. They make them in silk and wool and then in a kind of cotton and wool. Mm. And this is a cotton wool version, which is a lighter, it is indigo. And then this is a really nice Japanese label that I got from New York from a shop. And I can't remember what it's called. And you can belt it and it's quite high cut, but I don't mind. I just yeah. love the color and it is classic because indigo is, I think, the dye they used for denim. And so a lot of Japanese clothing as well have that beautiful indigo colour mm. and this is exactly that colour yeah. so I feel really empowered. And this is the first time we've introduced a little bit of pattern into yeah. the, do you it tend is. to just colour block with these chakras? Well I think that I feel I'm predominantly indigo as opposed to a little fleck of white so mm. I feel I could channel what I need to channel with the break up of the blue. 
Yeah. Okay, and we've got <laughs> one more. So our final chakra is purple and it represents the crown, which sits on top of your head and connects to your higher self. So it's the most spiritual chakra. And it's when you want to get in touch with just that kind of whatever you feel is channeling you or whatever you feel you want to channel, you're maybe getting it from outside your body from somewhere. Mm. So when I do meditation, maybe I should wear purple because I feel that's when I want to open myself up to bring in, download the good stuff. Yeah, it's like your connection to the universe almost, isn't it? It is, and I love the fact that it is the colour of International Women's Day because it represents such a strong feeling which is more than physical. It's a sort of spiritual feeling around and on International Women's Day you know we do a lot for International Women's Day on Trinity London and it's just that connection mm. that you have and a lot of us wear purple on that day and we do things to help empower women um, on that day. Yeah we so do it for the whole month. We do it for the whole <laughs> month but on that day we all wear purple. Yeah. yeah. It. I hope you enjoyed it. Can I ask what everything's from oh, yes, before oh my we God, go? Yes, yes. So this is um, me and M. Yeah. These are, I've just found this. I'm just going to have again, but they're not. They're me and M. This is um, Comte de Gasson. And then the scarf, I was thinking of adding on to, because I just kind of love the idea. Um, and that's Shekinus. Darling, that's it for this week. Thank you. I feel like we've all had such an education. I had no idea about all these chakras. Yeah, I had no idea. And it's all thanks to Victoria Woodall, who I do yoga with on a Tuesday and a Sunday. And on Sunday, she started doing with me this chakra yoga. And it's so brilliant. The one we do on Tuesday is very strong rocket yoga, really a huge, you know, mm -hmm. good endless flow. But Sunday, the first time I did it, and I and she left and I sat down and I did a quick little live and I went, I feel full of excitement and anticipation. Oh. Join us on a Sunday when we do chakra yoga yeah. at 9 a.m. Well, I'm excited for next week. I'm oh, full of anticipation. Too. Yeah, and I have no idea what we're gonna do, but we'll think of it by then. Bye. Bye. And leave your suggestions <laughs> below too.